You may not know him, but aside from Princess Di and Fergie, his may be the most recognized face in Britain. A student poll in England found him the third most admired man in the world behind the Pope and Prince Charles. He is Richard Branson, a 42-year-old tycoon and adventurer known to some of his friends as Richard the Lionhearted. He runs a billion-dollar financial empire called the Virgin Group, with interests in everything from airlines to record stores. I've read somewhere that you can't even read a balance sheet. That's true. <laughs> they, um, I always get <clears throat> muddled up the difference between gross and net. So <laughs> and normally I try to interpret it the way I want to interpret it. <laughs> if I could read a balance sheet and I relied on accountants, I wouldn't have done anything in life. To succeed, Branson has been willing to risk his life as well as his fortune. Branson would push that luck even further, 6,000 miles across the Pacific from Tokyo to Los Angeles, it's with virtually no prospect of a mid-ocean recovery. A few days before, a Japanese balloonist had died trying the same thing. It's just spectacular. It seems that we're just going straight up. I don't know whether we've moved away from the site yet. They, um, what's it look like from down there? Two hours after liftoff, at 27,000 feet, they jettisoned what they thought were empty fuel tanks. In fact, it was half their fuel. You know, you do question one's sanity when, when something like that happens. And um, I remember Pear saying that he thought that the famous Branson luck had finally run out. It might seem ridiculous, me uh, carrying on filming at this point, but there's not much else that we can do. And in some ways, it's quite... Therapeutic. With a Force 9 gale raging below and the nearest ship hours away, they had no choice but to ride it out. They took the balloon up into the jet stream, which hurled them along at 300 miles an hour and thousands of miles off course. They crossed the Rockies in a blinding snowstorm and finally crashed on a frozen lake bed in the Northwest Territories, with no maps and no idea where they were. But we'll uh, hope that somebody comes and finds us within the next few hours. A, a rescue plane uh, came looking for us, and, um, and I radioed up to it. Um, we're on a lake by some trees, and uh, the rescue plane radioed back, um, uh, Mr. Branson, there are uh, 300,000 lakes in this area <laughs> and an awful lot of trees. <laughs> After six and a half hours, they were rescued. The Branson luck had held once again. <laughs>